tonight we're going to talk about your wonderful film. I saw it this afternoon and blubbed. Oh, um, hey. But it hasn't got the catchiest title, has it? So it's... bear with now. Hang on. Let me try and remember. So it's the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Nailed it. Nailed, Nailed it. it. Perfect. There there we are. Are. There. Um, and it's all about a book club that formed during the Second World War. Mm -hmm. um, so the first question we want to know is, have you ever been part of a book club? Are you part of a book club? I have. I, I, I attempted a book club for a while, and it was wonderful with my closest friends, but it ended up um, being over Skype. <laughs> because wow. we were, always, we were well. always in different places, and we really tried to, like, you know, power on. And, yeah. but it, and, and I, you know, the line was always dodgy, and we couldn't get everyone up on the screen, and it just, it kind of... Mm. I think yeah. by the second one, I, yeah. I pretended to read the book. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and have you got a, a book on the go at the moment, then? Are you, um, are you a big reader? Yeah, relax? I love reading. I, it was kind of what drew me most of this film, because oh, really? um, the character plays a writer, and, and, but also her love of books, of escaping and taking, you know, mm. finding solace in reading. And yeah. I just finished East of Eden by John Steinbeck, which Brilliant. I... Brilliant book. Oh, so that's coming as a strong recommendation, is it, for you? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. There you are. Yeah, You've yeah, heard that, everybody. We're yeah. going to actually continue <laughs> this. Um, so we'll put that question to you at home. If you have got a recommendation for the nation's readers, then send us a photo of you holding the book, and then please do tell us why it means so much to you. Yeah. Now, it seems we're losing our appetite for restaurants, which are part of big change. Directed mm. by Mike Newell, who directed Four Weddings and a Funeral and what have you. So I understand you were quite taken when you read the script initially it had a big impact on you yeah? yeah I was it was the characters in it are so vivid yeah. and unique and you really fall in love with them in an instant and yeah. um, and I also was really really moved and it and I, I cried reading the script at the end and Did you? I'm not surprised <laughs> yeah it kind of carries you away into this world and there's so many different sort of uh, it's about sort of unlikely friendship and family and mm. and it just it really struck a chord with me yeah and Guernsey was occupied by the Nazis mm. between 40 1940 and 1945 and as we see in the film the residents had a really rough time there didn't yeah. they well they were cut off from the rest of the world and I I didn't know about this and my character Julia Ashton Ashton mm. finds out and that's what she goes to investigate she feels like there must be a story there and you know they they were stripped of everything they had you know all their radio were taken away they were starving there was even um, um, uh, like Polish slaves brought over prisoner of prisoners of war to build all the fortify the island and it, it, was, it was really really mm. brutal mm. so how does your character fit into this story then because she turns up a little bit later on doesn't she yeah so she starts corresponding with an, an islander a pig farmer who happens yeah. to be beautiful <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I tell you what as farmers we are yes. an attractive <laughs> oh I tell you what this one especially <laughs> <laughs> sorry um, carry on which was a lovely <laughs> surprise um, yeah and so she she goes she goes over she finds out about what these islanders went through and finds out that they had this book club which was their way of coping during the war to to, to carry them away and they all fell in love with books and right. she goes over to join the, the book club and then she, it's a, a film of her self-discovery too of mm. her finding her voice as a writer and mm -hmm. and you know and a love story at the yeah. heart of it and there's some underlying mm. themes aren't there it, it's it's very much about strong women mm. and uh, and equally as following her own path and it's um they're really brilliant women and mm. and it was such mm. a, a privilege to play her and was it was it a grandmother of yours who really inspired you? Because letters are a big part of yeah. this. And it was something that went back to your childhood. Yeah, I mean yeah. letter writing. That that's so sad that we don't do that anymore. Put mm. pen to paper. Mm. But yeah, my granny was a young girl in France when it was occupied during the war. So I've heard lots of her stories, and I, I you know, I love her so much, and I feel mm. sort of a deep connection in that respect. And um, yeah. When you watch the film, though, you really do think, who do I know I could write to? And um, so how will you feel about going there? You must be looking forward to seeing oh, it. I'm, and, you know. I'm so looking forward to it. They've been so supportive throughout making this film and really yeah. been a part of it. And so to go there and have a special screening there with all the local islanders. and Because yeah. the, the place is so at the heart of this film. It's such a magical yeah. place. Mm. So, um, and, you know, obviously the book is, like, it's a big thing for them. And I think, you know, lots of people already visit the island because of the book.
book because it was yeah, a, sure. it was a big hit. Yeah. So yeah. But actually, it was filmed, was it not, down in on the south coast, down yeah, in Devon? Yeah. What was the filming experience like down there? For oh, it was just lovely. Yeah. I mean, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I I found that I really think I need actually to live by the sea. Yeah. I yes. feel like it oh, it's a, yeah. calms my soul, and like the same happens with my character. Yeah. There's this sort of, especially for her, living in post-war London, the mm. oppression, mm. the grey, and suddenly seeing the horizon and the sea. It, yeah, we had a lovely time. That's a very good film. And Little Bird just quickly says that you might be in a new Richard Curtis film. Is that something we can Yeah, I mean, confirm? That's, I think that's... that's yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what it's supposed okay, to say. OK, that's enough. But <laughs> seriously, I mean, things are going great for you, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. At the moment. So many movies, so much great success as well. Oh, it's thank you. It's absolutely delighted. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I feel very lucky. You like yeah. the screen of Lily. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> well, now... Uh,